Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're doing another Kingdom Come Deliverance guide and in this one I'm going to show you how to get the 10 coolest outer garments. So this is hoods, waifnerocks, and jupons I guess is the third category. But anyway, so the first couple, first several actually, can be found right here in Rattay. So we're going to start off with that. So let's just go to the first one. Okay, so the first item on this is probably the coolest hood in the game, but you know, some people disagree about that, which is the black yellow hood, which you can get. I'm over in the uh, Rite Taylor shop. I figured I didn't need to show you how to get here. It costs 1.2 thousand groschen and has a charisma of 18, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. As you can see, I'm wearing full suit armor. I will be for this whole video since I only wear outerwear at least usually when I'm a knight in shining armor because you got to cover up that shining armor. So this is how you get the first piece. So the next piece we can also get right here in the store. So the next piece is actually the noble's yellow hood and as you can see this clipping thing going on here that's one of the reasons I never wear the noble's hoods in this game. But uh, if you're not wearing armor it's fine I guess because it doesn't clip over through you know through the armor. But anyway you can get it right here at the Rite Taylor for 703 groschen and it has a charisma of 16. Now let's get the third and final piece from this shop. All right, and for the third piece you can get here, you can get the blue combat jupon. And now there's a lot of these that you can buy and even several that you can buy at this store. But out of all of them that you can buy here at the store, the blue one's my favorite. So uh, you can see it costs 1,053 groschen and has a charisma of 17. So yeah, that is the third and final piece on this list that you can get at the Rite Taylor. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, and so for the next item, you can see we have the quartered combat jacket. Now this one can't be bought. It cannot be bought at any stores as far as I know. Uh, but it can be found really easily. First of all, a lot of people wear it, including random encounters, so it's likely that you've already got this one. But just in case you don't, here, let's quick take a peek. Has a value of 1,258 groschen and has a charisma of 20, so it's got a nice high charisma level. But just in case you don't have it, I'll show you where to get it. <coughs> So we're over in the Rite Sword Shop, and you'll notice that you can also get the blue combat jupon here too. But anyway, the quartered combat jacket is right here on the shop guard. So you can either, what I would recommend is just wait until they go to sleep, go upstairs, either knock him out or kill him, and then just take it off him. Then you've got it. So that's how you get this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, and for this next item on the list, we have the first Waifenrock on the list, the Heraldic Waifenrock, and you can see it's on here. I think it's pretty cool. It's got these two little crests. It's unique. So uh, we'll pop in here. It's got a charisma of 10, so that's not super high, and a price of only 27.7. Uh, and as far as I know, there's only one place to get this, and I'll show you exactly where. <coughs> so we're up in the upper Rite Castle. You can see over here, Harold, he's wearing it. So during the day, or, you know, while he's awake, the only way to get it is to kill him or knock him out and take it from him. But if you wait until he goes to sleep, you can come in here, and it's in this chest, I believe. So if you lockpick this chest, you'll be able to get everything from all the people that are sleeping in there, but most importantly, the Heraldic Wavenrock. So let's move on to the next thing on the list. Okay, and so for this next one, we have the Oleschnitz Wavenrock. And now this is one of the coolest Wavenrocks in the game. Unfortunately, there is only one way to get it, and you have to get it during the Robber Baron's quest. So let's just take a little peek at it. It's got a charisma of 13, so not too bad, and a price of 12.6. Uh, we'll just spin it around. Like I said, it's probably the coolest wave rock in the whole game. But you'll, if you do the Robert Burns quest, you'll have the option to pose as, uh, Captain Bernard's, I, I think he's, I don't know what you're posing as, but he gives it to you. So you can go talk to the Robert Baron. Uh, yeah, so that's how you get that one. Alright, and for what should be the seventh item on this list, we have Sir Radzig's Hood, which, uh... Personally, I think it's my favorite hood. I like it more than the checkered hoods. But so this one is pretty easy to get. There's several places on the map where you'll find it, but the most reliable one is the one I'm about to show you. Uh, it has a charisma of seven and a price of 18.3 groschen, so it's not very expensive, but I like it. It looks cool, plus it helps you represent scallops. So the place you're going to want to go is, of course, the Marahoyed military camp. Where else? And you're going to want to be looking for this well-armored knight right here. You can notice he's got the hound skull on, so that's how you'll be able to recognize him. And he's wearing it, so, you know, get creative. Kill him, knock him out, do whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you get the Sir Radzig's hood. So let's move on to the next one. Alright, and you can see the Warhorse Waifenrock here. You can see it's a pretty special one. Uh, going here, it's got a charisma of 15, price of 1, like all Warhorse gear. But yeah, so pretty fancy looking Waifen Rock, probably one of the fancier ones in the game, but yeah, so that's the Warhorse Waifen Rock. And so you can see Rattay's over here, we're all the way over here in the woods, and if you go in here, I guess here's this little thing, 
through here, there's this dark line, and right at the end there'll be a grave, so you're going to want to shovel. And you go and dig up the grave, and it's right in there. So that's how you get the War Horse Waifen Rock. Now it should be noted, that's a uh, DLC, Treasures of the Past DLC. You either got it for pre-ordering the game, or you could buy it on the Steam Store, or, or PSN, or, you know, whatever. Uh, but you need that DLC to get it. This treasure will still be here, but the Waifen Rock won't be in it if you don't have the DLC. So yeah, that's the War Horse Waifen Rock. Okay, and for the ninth item, you can see we have the Brocade Combat Jupan. Now, this one, uh, I actually just recently first found this one, and then afterwards I found it like ten more times in various places all over the map. But yeah, so for this one, it's got a charisma of 17 and a price of 600. Uh, pretty nice looking jacket, I think. It's a little less, I mean, it's a little clippy with some armor, but... Uh, so if you're not wearing armor, that won't be an issue, but if it is, you know, that might bother you. But anyway, so you can find this in several places, but the easiest place is right here. So we're over in Talmberg, as you can see, up in the castle. And you can see old man Divish is sleeping there. You want to sneak up to this chest here, which is a hard lock. You're going to want to pick it. Pop inside, and you'll be able to snag it. You can also get the noble's dark shoes here. And, you know, some hoes that are nice. But anyway, yeah, so that's how you get the Combat Jupan. So let's get the tenth and final item. Okay, so the final item on this list is this variant of the Knight's Waifenrock. You can see I'm wearing it right there. It's red with little white crosses on it. Um, has a charisma of 12 and a value of 32.9. So, again, this one, like many of the others, there are various places you could get it. But the easiest is here in Talmberg, and you can see this guard walking around. He's wearing it. So, like I said before, get creative, knock him out, kill him, take it, whatever. So that is all 10 items, so let's take a closer look at each one of them one more time. Okay, so we have the Black Yellow Hood, the Brocade Combat Jupan, the Heraldic Waifen Rock, the Knight's Waifen Rock, the Noble's Yellow Hood, the Oleshnitz Waifen Rock, the Quartered Combat Jacket, Sir Radzig's Hood, And the Warhorse Waifenrock. So that's all of what I consider to be, I don't know, I guess the coolest outerwear in the game. If you've got any that you think are cooler, why don't you tell me in the comments below. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.